Hey, what's up? I'm Tech Bro here. Today I'll tell you about the experience of using my own Legion 7. But I'll start with the needs. I used to need a laptop primarily for work outside the home. Even on vacation. The range of work tasks is quite wide. This includes basic retouching in Adobe Photoshop and advertising layouts in Adobe Illustrator and layout of multi-page projects in Adobe InDesign. To this, you can add work on the YouTube channel. That is, writing scripts, recording and processing sound, basic color correction and final editing of videos. Accordingly, Adobe Audition and Premiere Pro. This year, interface design training in Figma has been added. Well, Cyberpunk 2077 as an opportunity to escape from worries. In sum, it turns out to be a rather heavy set that requires both powerful hardware and a high-quality screen. At the same time, I want sane dimensions, weight, and not for all the money in the world. The legions turned out to be the most adequate for the price in my city. Specifically, models 5 Pro and 7. I did not consider the 5, since in the older models the screen calibration from the factory bribed. Well, the best cooling system, 5 Pro and 7 turned out to be almost the same price. So, I chose the 7 without any hesitation. I'm warning you right now. This is not a standard overdue listing all the features. Here are practical points in real use. And if I suddenly forgot something and didn't mention it, ask in the comments. So, I'm done with the preface. We can start. I'll start with an office scenario. For example, writing text for the next video. I need Microsoft Word in Chrome to check some specifications on the manufacturer's website. In principle, this is comfortable to do on the couch. The load on the laptop is small. Increased accuracy is not required. So, I don't use a mouse. The trackpad is enough for this. It's good that, as for a gaming laptop, it is large enough here and works adequately. Plus, I do not get tired of repeating, the Legion keyboard is the best for typing. And due to the fact that the manufacturer did not freak out with the layout like some others. The keys of the 7, unlike, for example, 5 Pro, are not black, but in the color of the case. Therefore, the fat from the fingers on them is not so noticeable regarding noise, temperatures, and operating time. During such office tasks, I have my laptop on my lap. It does not make noise, but a slight, not annoying rustle of the fans is audible. I don't monitor temperature. I can only say that the touch is quite comfortable. The knees are not hot. I connect the power cable, but not a standard brick from the kit, but a small 100 watt block from Basius. Accordingly, a long thin USB-C cable, rated at 100 watts. Using the key combination FN plus Q, I switch the Legion to silent mode. This is indicated by the blue color of the power button. In this mode, the performance is enough to work with text and the browser, and the noise with temperatures is quite office-like, and the battery does not run out. By the way, although the laptop supports fast charging, I have this option turned off, and battery saving is turned on. Then the laptop makes sure that the charge remains around 60%. This protects the battery from rapid degradation when constantly connected to the network. I will also mention the second option for easy tasks, watching a video. For this, there is a very bright screen and quite good speakers for a laptop. When the profiles are turned off, the screen, by the way, turns yellow hard, which has already resulted in more than one hysteria on the forums. I remind you, we go into the X-Rite utility. Select the default profile. It's all. The screen is both super bright and with normal color. Any instrument requires tuning. The default speakers sound mediocre and flat. For volume, bass boost or treble, the legions have the Nahemic utility. With it, the speakers really reveal their potential. HDR despite the certification on this Legion, as, to be honest, on most other laptops on the market, you will not get true full-fledged HDR. Even 500 nits of brightness is not enough for this. Yes, and the color gamut of the screen should cover the DCI-P3 space. Here you can't do without good OLED or mini LED panels. So, I advise you not to even bother with HDR, 
or immediately connect some serious gaming monitor or TV with a brightness of at least 1000 nits. When watching a video, one more moment can be a minus for someone. The screen has a matte finish. It's great at work. Less reflections and glare, for example from a window. But when watching movies, the picture seems less contrast than on glossy screens. Finally, the third easy scenario is video conferencing. The webcam here is average, as are microphones. But at the same time, the most powerful stuffing is at hand in the laptop. It is a crime not to use it to improve the situation. I recommend trying the free NVIDIA broadcast app. It, using the power of the video card, eliminates echo and noise, blurs the existing background or completely replaces the background without chroma key. Just install, go through the settings and assign the application as the main camera. Now let's talk about hard work. Graphics and video editing. In this case, I connect the mouse and the native power supply. The power of the USB is simply not enough for the full operation of the processor and discrete graphics. The laptop mode is white or, in the case of video editing, red. This is when the performance and cooling system is at its maximum. If the Legion doesn't make much noise in Photoshop, then you won't sit quietly during editing. If you also need to monitor the sound, you have to wear headphones. For these types of work, I usually switch the screen profile to sRGB in the X-Rite utility. Do not be afraid that the brightness has dropped. So be it. In this mode, the colors are as accurate as possible. Here are a couple of words about the hardware. In my case, these are AMD Ryzen 7 5800H and NVIDIA RTX 3070. If the need for a powerful 8-core processor is clear, then the video card was also chosen for video editing. With each subsequent version of Premiere Pro, more and more features are accelerated by the video card, including final rendering. At the same time, 8 gigabytes of video memory also play an important role. I am silent about the need for a powerful video card for working with video in DaVinci Resolve. Of course, I can't promise you everything will be done immediately. There will always be some effect or animation that will slow down even on desktop multi-core monsters. But in any case, I felt a serious acceleration. About the screen size. Is 16 inches enough? To be honest, it's very personal. I am working on a laptop from a very close distance. And I'm all right. Those who are used to 4K monitors with a diagonal of 27 inches or more will probably have to connect an external screen. Moreover, there are enough connectivity options here. It is possible both via HDMI and an adapter from USB-C to display port. Finally, games. Let me give you a real example, Cyberpunk 2077. Firstly, this is still one of the most significant games in terms of performance. Secondly, I'm slowly trying to pass it in my free time. Game version 1.52. Drivers for everything are the latest. I usually play in max performance mode. Accordingly, in the headphones, otherwise the noise of the fans interferes. What surprised me from the first days, despite the fact that the configuration is not the top end. I even have one bar of RAM now, so in fact one channel, enough performance. The laptop is quite playable pulling even the heaviest ultra mode with ray tracing. Although for this you have to additionally enable DLSS. It turns out an average of 40 frames per second. Temperatures are also normal. You see everything on the screen. A small life fact, if you want to make the Legion even colder by 5 to 10 degrees, you just need to raise the back of the laptop above the table by 1 to 2 centimeters. No matter how. Though a stand, even a book. In sum, the laptop as a gaming laptop showed itself well. Although it is felt that in a couple of years new projects on the same Unreal Engine 5 will have to lower the settings. Another scenario is not described. This is the work of IT people. Who has experience of coding on legions, share your experience in the comments below the video. We are done with the main scenarios. Let's talk a little about the alternatives, for those who still choose. And the obvious disadvantages of this legion. If there is a choice between the 7 and the usual 5, then there are two serious differences. I'll start with the display. He's really better here. But rather for all kinds of creative work, and not for games. 
Here is the second difference, a more serious cooling system useful to everyone. It allows, with the same hardware, the processor and video card to work at a higher power. The difference in case materials, metal here, plastic there, and the presence of a more complex RGB backlight, I think, is not so important. Comparison with other manufacturers is more difficult. Each model must be considered separately. The general conclusion is this, Legion 7 is not the best in all categories. At competitors, you can find 4K displays, manual fan settings, more powerful speakers, more interesting design. But in terms of the sum of the characteristics and the same price, it is one of the most balanced choices. A better ratio of specifications to price is probably only in the Legion 5 Pro. It has almost the same display and hardware. The manufacturer reduced the price primarily due to a slightly simpler cooling system, more plastic in the case, and simpler backlights. Another point that distinguishes the 7 from the 5 and 5 Pro is the option with the RTX 3080 graphics card. But do not despair. Yes, on the one hand, last year it was the most powerful graphics on the market. On the other hand, not everyone can justify a significant price difference with a 20% increase in FPS. Okay. Let's talk about the cons. I warn you right away, the minuses are absolutely subjective and for many they will not be minuses at all. For example, someone may be confused by the size and weight of a laptop. Well, the same applies to the complete power supply. What can I say, Legion 7 is clearly not an ultrabook to carry in a purse, but such a serious, powerful machine, designed primarily for permanent network connection and replacement of large desktop PCs. Further, the lack of the possibility of fine manual adjustment of the hardware. First of all, the fan speed. As far as I understand, this is the manufacturer's principal approach. Here are three performance modes for you, and leave the rest to the algorithms. Finally random in installed components. Looks like there is only one model. But different customers may receive RAM with slightly different specifications or different models of Wi-Fi modules. The difference is small. But on the forums, large-scale disputes on this topic died down at one time. That's been it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.